Let's see, what do we have here for our latest curb find? Spin 3 Pro brush roll, carpet and hard floor, clean path, edge to edge cleaning, Dirt Devil Endura Max in a pastel color, I suppose. So this is exactly the way that I found it. I just picked it up last night. So let's see, it's got, well, got an extension tube, we have a multi-function dusting brush crevice tool, and let's see, hopefully it doesn't turn the uh, picture upside down on you. Here's the model. There, UD70175. I'm looking at the serial number. I'm just going to guess that that was made sometime in 2022, but you tell me. Sometimes decoding these things can be a bit challenging. And... How about we take a peek at, let's see, does this, uh, come on, release already. There we go. All right. Here's the brush roll. Well, that looks kind of typical. Really long bristles. Ooh, and they're soft. And this acts like there's a belt. Yeah, it seems like there's a belt. So obviously this is a cheapy machine. Got a nice stretchy hose there. And they have such confidence in their product. It says, do not return to the store. Questions, do a live chat or call the 1-800 number. How about that? All right, so let's see. What else can we look at here? Dirt cup release. How about we release that? There we go. Okay. What is that? A little bit of foamy stuff. Nothing too weird going on. No obvious clogs. Okay. Filter access. Oh look, it's a cartoon! So that's what they think of vacuum users. It's now... A cartoon. Your vacuum has a filter and it needs you. Well, that's great, but it's not where you can actually see it. It's on the back. <laughs> Somebody else's dirt. Not a big deal. I think I've seen that kind of a uh, cyclonic separator here. And let me see. Can I do this one-handed? I'm going to have to step on it or something. Let's see. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put it between the legs. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> that did it. <laughs> okay, ready? The big reveal. <laughs> yeah, so if this vacuum is two years old, do you think this is, uh, well, two years worth of accumulation to completely clog whatever, you know, whatever they're trying to <laughs> vacuum up with? Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looks like, what, we got kind of a, maybe a sock in there? You know, like um, a black foam filter somewhere? Because, after all, it says, your vacuum has a filter and it needs you. Well, yeah. Let's see what do we have here. An Endura F112 rinsable filter. Twist to remove. How about just clean it, let alone remove it? Okay, there's the rest of it. So I'm guessing that's that's probably the issue. Seems like the belt is still in fairly good shape, but how about I set you up on the stand and then turn it on, or at least attempt to turn it on.
Okay, I can't say that I'm uh, seeing anything else that's too weird. Kind of flipped off of the brush roll, I think. So, got my 400 CFM blower there. How about we go and uh, blow these filters out? Let's see, twist. Twist, really? There we go, okay. That's good enough. And we got this little you know, black kind of sock that's around there. Yep, time to use the blower. All right, let's uh, take a closer look at that sock and we peel it off. Well, I think everything will be fine. I mean, obviously, it's, you know, full of a bunch of fine dust and, you know, large particles clogging everything up. But this just, yeah, dusty. That's about it. So now, we have officially reached the laziest stage of owning a vacuum cleaner, a bagless vacuum cleaner. Which is why we should probably go back to bag. Use the cleaner until the filter clogs the hose clogs, the belt breaks, and then just throw it away and buy another one. Maybe you get a year out of it, maybe a few months, depends on what you're picking up. Take a look at this. Yeah, not it's not that dirty. Yeah, it really isn't. Mm, tiny bit. Gee, that's just it's not that bad. It's almost like new. Let's see, what's it smell like? <laughs> eh, it smells a little pet-oriented, but that's about it. And it's it's not that bad. It really isn't. Okay. Let's put this back in here. I will uh, go and uh, rinse this out and let it dry later on. But the weather report said it's supposed to rain here like in the next hour so i'm just doing this as quickly as i can okay all right so much for that yeah that'll wipe off no biggie okay let's see um okay, imagine this one twists and it just lifts out all right just lifts out doesn't even doesn't even twist it don't need to <laughs> all right so yeah this is okay no biggie put that off to the side and I'm sure this had something to do with the airflow loss, just a little bit. All right, let's see if we can't get some of this back together here. And, um,. Check the hose, because that's one thing we definitely haven't checked, is the hose. Maybe there's a clog in the hose. Alrighty. Should fit in here one way or another. Seems to be good. That needs to go and do some type of a twist fit there. Okay, that's good. Put this in. Where's the, where's the piece here? Click. 
Okay, that clicks. Yay, that's great. We know we have airflow. Uh, let's see. I'll undo oh, the hose. <laughs> so I undid the hose, and this fell out. I mean, I got to show you this. Okay, I definitely got to. I got to get closer on this. This is this is just too funny. So all I did was just you know pop the hose out. So yeah, that's what fell out. But <clears throat> that's what's still in there. <laughs> that's funny. So I wonder, what do you think if I just put the hose back there and then turn the machine on with the cyclonic assembly and filter pretty much clean? You think we'll have a good like poof and then a whole bunch of dirt will pop in there and start spinning around? Let's try that. All right, here we go. You know what? Here, I'll take it. I'll put this back in. Here. All right, ready? <laughs> Hopefully you can see everything. I should do this like in slow-mo or something. All right, here we go. <laughs> well, it did absolutely nothing. This is how you can tell your hose is completely clogged. that out a little bit. Watch her fly. So how about we clear that hose? I think I can take this hose end and just stick it right in there. See what happens. Ooh. Wow, that's uh, <laughs> there's still a bunch still left in there. I got some out, obviously. Sheesh. See the see the little meter there? Yep. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna get a screwdriver and kind of fiddle around with that a little bit. Is that a? Not sure, what that is? It looks like it could be wiring or. Oh, seems like it. Jeez. So clog the filters and then clog the hose. Let's see, what on earth do they have in there? Let's see if that got it. Try again. Nope. All right. Let's stretch it. Let's just stretch the hose. See if that releases it. Oh, that might have gotten it. The new, the new Bosch hose automatically connects. Just kind of get it near it. It goes in. See, will it pick anything up? Kinda. I still think there's something in there. I'll have to check. There is something in there. Yeah. Probably hard for you to see, but what is that? Yeah, we still have more clog. There's something down in there. Not too worried about that though. It's like a stick. But there's something else. Oh, it's there. It's way down the bottom. I gotta turn the flash on for you. Hopefully that helps. There, you can see that. There's something way down the bottom there. What on earth? This is funny. That's that's weird. All right, so not to bore you, 
I'm gonna work uh, with this a little bit off camera because there's something that's actually physically jammed in there. One long hose declogger. The handle. Kind of chews it up and then spits it out the other end, I hope. Well, yeah. Okay. That's great. What on earth is in there? Now there's still something. And there's something funky in there. And that does not want to come out easy. Let's see. It's tree branches. I wasn't too sure if it was like a weird bottle brush or something, but it's literally like like a tree branch or something that looks like, like pine needles or something. And it's stuck, stuck right in here. Hmm. Well, let me keep working on it. After a few more off-camera minutes of fiddling, so we have one of those fake tree branches because it's got the metal wrapping around there. It's right here, like, you know, there. It can go in that position, so it's wrapped with the metal. And this is some kind of plastic cover for something, maybe a bottle. So they decided to vacuum that up, and it really stuck in the hose. So now... Let's see what it sounds like. Oh yeah. And the little yellow uh, full bag gauge doesn't move at all anymore. So, wonderful. All right, so this is in good shape. So let's see what we can do with the rest of the clog right in this feed tube. So let's see. I'll go like that. Okay. Come up and around. Twist her in. Okay. Let's see the magic. Bring the thunder. <laughs> Did it do anything? <laughs> it just reclogged the hose. <laughs> That's it. That's what it did right there. Okay. So let's let's just use the Bosch and finish up the job, hopefully. Wow. 
I mean, it literally is clogged all the way down and underneath. Completely clogged. Until it finally partially unclogged, but then clogged the Bosch. Oh, that's funny. I've never actually clogged this Bosch. So the Bosch is now unclogged. I'm just going to toss this into the trash can, not bother with that. But an easy way to do it if you don't have, you know, something you can force through it one way or another is simply just take the other end and then stick it right in there and it'll probably suck it back through. And it did in my case, so I mean, just not a big deal at all. Keep hitting the camera here. It's all fine. So this appears to be declogged down here, as far as I can tell. Well, let's hook her back up again. And this is a weird, weird kind of hookup. So I, I, I don't really quite understand what the engineers were thinking when they did this. So it looks like this kind of, you know, does this, goes up, comes down, around, and then goes here. This is kind of a, a funky angle. I mean, you know, it works, right? But, yeah, whatever. All right, let's see what's happening now. Sounds pretty normal. Brush roll spinning and everything. So I probably will always forever have people say, why don't you have an electric screwdriver? Well, I do actually have a drill with screwdriver attachments. I use it kind of rarely. The biggest problem I have with electric screwdrivers is you have very little feel. You don't really know if you're getting ready to strip something or not. So uh, I don't do this very often. So I don't really feel the need to go and spend a bunch of money to get an electric screwdriver that I probably won't use all that much. So you can sit there and watch me do these, you know, one at a time by hand and then get aggravated and post funny things in the comment section, I suppose, forever. Because it's just not worthwhile for me to go and get one. Okay, so did I get all those screws out? Anything hidden? What did I see? All right, come on. Out you come. Oh. That's interesting. This, this bumps up against the wheel right here, the belt guard. So it doesn't uh, doesn't come out very easily. That's that's weird. All right. Okay, yeah, that looks about normal. Let's see. Belt it says 1818 on the belt. I think I've seen that before. So the belt does not look that bad. It says Royal Style 5. Okay. All right, great. But the belt, you know, there's no burn marks on it or anything. So it's, I'm sure it's a little stretched. You could probably use a new one. The spindle looks great. No water. They picked up everything, but not water. All right, let's see. How are the bearings? Uh, there's some, there's some ticking in there. There's definitely some ticking. Let's see. Do these come off easily? Yep, they do. Oh, look at that. Rebuildable bearings. Wow. Super easy to get to. Yeah. Look at that. Nice little caps. You can just pop off and rebuild the bearings. Simple. All right. Let's see. Um, do I have any airflow down here? Is there something else that's still stuck? <laughs> We made it. So, yeah, everything's in uh, good shape, relatively speaking.
Well, while I'm outside, and it hasn't started raining yet, let's pick this thing clean. there most of it anyway so as you know I use this Bosch formula electro duo for all my junk jobs unclogging things picking up I mean you know large amounts of debris and I was noticing not a loss of suction but a little bit loss of airflow hmm gee I wonder why so I went digging around in there and I've got I've got so many bags. I've got boxes and boxes of bags. And I have one type G paper bag left before I finally I just dated it for today. I finally can go to my HEPA ones. So got this. I don't know if this was donated to the lab. Obviously, you know, I don't I don't live in Virginia. This was and I certainly didn't pay anything like that for it. Um uh, this, this uh, I think, might have come with the machine, and finally, years later, I've gone through all the bags in here, and they work just fine for, you know, picking up large debris. So, let's check this out. Oh, yes. We're, we're definitely a little on the full side. Let's see. Can you, can you see that a little better now? All right. So... Yeah, I could put more in it, but uh, I need uh, all the airflow that this thing can deliver. So, take that one out, and let's put this one in. Have it dated. I date all my bags. Helps. It helps greatly, to be honest with you. And you, as you can see, there's nothing... Pull that back out again. There's nothing accumulating in the bin here. It's, it's fine. I mean, I guess there's... Okay, there's... Oh, there it is. A tiny bit. Eh, big deal. Doesn't matter. When I switch to HEPA, there won't be anything, but that's such an insignificant amount, it doesn't matter. So, there we go, and um, how about we take a look at what's in here, because it's mainly, you know, bulky stuff. Not quite a year old yet. Ooh, nice big pile. Yep. It's basically all large debris, because that's what I normally pick up with this. I mean, there's going to be some fine dust, of course, but... Yeah, huge large debris. There's, there's the yummy pile right there. Isn't that fantastic? I'm showing you my dirt. Ooh. So this is, um, well, since June of 22. That's, that's what I've literally cleaned up from all my projects. And now I get to use the last paper bag, and I can finally move on to HEPA. Ugh. It just goes on forever. Let's put this back together. So I think this is good enough for now. Obviously, washing it, it'll look better than that. All the big chunks have been removed. And the bearings are easily rebuildable. That's that's amazing. Oh, 
Huh, wrong way. Uh, let's see. It's going like that. You know, that belt still has some life in it. All right, let's see. Let's see how centered it runs. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Slide that under the wheel, I guess. back in there. All right. Fantastic. Of course, obviously, it's still dirty. Everything looks good. Okay, so now we just need to wind up the cord. And the plug is just slightly bent. Let's see if I can get that. There you go. A little focus that way. It's just slightly bent. Not a big deal at all. I get to focus on my finger. There you go. Yay! So I have yet another piece of junk vacuum. <laughs> oh, brother. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.